Hi everyone, you're alright? Yeah. Well, the saga goes on, doesn't it? Um, Blackburn has decided uh, at a meet, pl at a planning meeting. Um, the objection that Heimburn put in about the new Marks and Spencers the e you know which is owned by e g group has been well overturned Blackburn with Darwin has basically turned round and said well Heimburn can you know object as much as they like um, we're going to approve it so ladies and gents it looks like the Marks and Spencers in the Blackburn Town Centre is going to is going to disappear. Yeah. Um Bid Blackburn are gonna be upset about that because that's a major retailer that has gone. Well, will be gone. And uh we've got our uh, cat sat on sat in uh, the window at the moment yeah so they turned round and uh, approved um, the brothers uh, application for Marks and Spencers on the um, retail park so it's not good for the black it's not good for Blackburn to be truthful and uh, yeah that is going if that you know it's going to be a big space to fill I mean a big space to fill Um, what they're going to do with it I don't know I don't know at all. Because uh, it's quite a big spot. And. Oops, it's not something over. Yeah. It's a big turnaround, is that? But. Uh, the older clientele that go to Marks and Spencers, how are they going to take this? Are they going to turn round and go to this retail park where Marks and Spencers is going? You know? For what I've been hearing, it might be just be the food hall that will be going. Yeah. But we'll just have to wait and see. Because, uh, you know, it might be just the food hall, which will be the back section of um, of that. We'll just have, to, as I said, wait and wait and see. Watch this uh, upcoming uh, happenings. But then again, if they decide to move out, Fraser's might move in. But there is another. Empty building that uh, 
is uh, on, well, on the uh, cards that have might uh, change hands is the old Debenhams building. Yeah. Um, there are rumblings and grumblings that uh, Fraser's might take that. But then again, they might take the M&S building. We'll just see what happens. Um, one of the other things I was going to say is that the um, B&M, what well, took the Wilco Star, Wilco Star, did I say? Wilco Star has, uh, well, it's busy. <laughs> it's busy. I don't know what's going to happen to the Lower Ordley Star. Um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. My personal opinion, really, is something like this. I hope B&M um, re-establishes itself there because it'll give Asda some real competition. Because, to be truthful, the brothers would, uh, you know, need some competition. Yeah, I just hope bit. I hope the B and M store rare uh, comes back there. But they have quite a fair. I think I can't remember how many brands B and M have. But uh, I know they have uh, Heron Foods. That's one thing I'd like to see come, return to the Black to Blackburn Town Centre. Um, because the nearest one is Shadworth. Yeah, Shadworth. Why not a Heron Foods in in the Blackburn Town Centre? But uh, it might water down the uh, the um, other stores that they have. But we'll see what happens. And the, another major thing that needs to happen is the old post office on Ainsworth Street, I think it is. That needs something to go in it, and that and that bottom half, because to be truthful, it looks terrible. It absolutely looks terrible. Uh, there's a, a brow, but there's only one. No, hang on. There's a coffee shop. And a, I think it's a pure gym. Uh, the jewellers, the betting shop, and then the market. That's it. Um, yeah. Boots has done one major thing. Um, if you've been in town of late, they have sealed the bottom, the back door of the store. They've turned it into a fire escape. But the real truth of it, it is to stop the shoplifters. Um, yeah, it's to stop the shoplifters from cutting through, and uh, yeah, 
our, fr our friend there, she's sat on the windowsill, wondering what she's going to do. The weather here has been absolutely rubbish. It started off okay. And then it, well, it just turned. I was talking to a lady lady about uh, the new estate at Sunny Bower yes they have st yeah there's quite a fair few gone up already but uh, they're about I think they're four, f four maybe five bedroom roomed houses up there but uh, we'll just wait and see what happens with that area because uh, I'm just waiting to see what happens I just thought this weather's not in for the rest of the week or so because uh, I won't be too happy about it so I'm gonna buzz off now if anything happens I'll let you know and I'll see you in the next one.